this is this is living this is how we should live you know if you've got the opportunity then this is how everyone should live you know it's the best thing we've ever done and so thoroughly enjoyable the, the freedom that we have now mm. with with the motorhome it's it's just fantastic both of us have become more patient a lot more relaxed i think both of us feel very fulfilled i'm colin and i'm karen and we're rewind the gap so we've got lily she's an english springer spaniel she's six years old and Oakley, who's a German Shepherd dog, and he's 10 years old. This opportunity arose when we went to the motorhome show last October. The Grey Gappers were there doing an interview. I looked them up and found their blog. It was advertising that Owen Heimer were looking for bloggers. We discussed it briefly and thought, let's just go for it and see where it goes. What we like about the Bursner TD744, having two large dogs with us, is the space really. There's lots and lots of things that I love about this motor hay. The cab works really well. The seats are so comfortable and they're so comfortable for driving. The dining area, the table actually extends so you can sit um, five people comfortably around the table and have dinner. In the kitchen it's got a single oven with grill and three ring gas burner hob, huge fridge freezer. All of our cooking is done in the motor hay. I've cooked roast dinners, chilies, you name it. I cook exactly the same as I do when we were at home living in a house. The lounge is an L-shaped lounge with a pull-out coffee table. And then we have two large electronic beds above the dining area. And in the lounge, we have a king-size bed that drops down. The bathroom has a separate shower cubicle and a lumen... Um, Illuminated mirror, mirror for doing your makeup. <laughs> Illuminated for mirror, which is really important. We've got so much storage generally in the motorhome. We've been able to bring books, games, clothes. There's underfloor storage. It seems that Bursner have just thought of everything really. On the journey so far, we've travelled from our home down to Canterbury in Kent, and then we came across on the Channel Tunnel. When we got into France, we travelled down the west coast into Italy, wasn't it? So from Italy, we went through Slovenia, down through Croatia, and then we got the ferry across from Split to Ancona, and we made our way back into Italy again. We made our way down to Sicily, and this is where we are now. We keep saying it. I keep writing the blog with, we've come across with another hidden gem. I've probably used it out of context in other places. Uh, this place is a real hidden gem. The scenery is just breathtaking. Yes, the motorhome allows us to go places that we wouldn't necessarily be able to go and see. One of the main benefits of having a motorhome, home is where you park it. We you change your mind every day. Um, it allows us to get off the beaten track. You can do what you want, go where you want, and you've always got somewhere to sleep. We're going to tour down through the west coast of Sicily. We're going to get a ferry up to northern Italy, through southern France, and we're thinking that we will spend winter in Spain. We've just kept a very open mind so that we can just see where the journey takes us. We've been married for 10 years. We're bound to argue. I think we've coped really well. We're living together in a small space. We've now been on the road for months now. We don't argue, we have um, debates. That's uh, second nature, I think, when you've been with somebody for a long time. But other than that, we've had to relearn the art of conversation, getting on in playing games. and It's brought us together as a couple. It's made us talk, it's made us converse, it's made us interact with one another. And it's also taken us back to doing things that we really enjoy together which we weren't doing before. Obviously having the dogs, we're very keen in, in walking. We love nature and the great outdoors. We're enjoying just going for nice walks and enjoying the views. There's nothing, nothing nicer than strolling along a nice coastal path and taking some photographs. I'm, I'm into photography more than Karen, but we're very competitive with each other and we rush home at the end of the day and we compare photos and we have a little 
competition, so he's got the best pictures. What we're also finding is when we go along to the architecture, it's also nice to try and capture them with our photographs. The site that we're looking to visit tomorrow is called Segesta. It's a Greek archaeological temple. It's, it's just interesting to go back and have a look and see that these wonderful monuments that just don't get built these days. And when you just stand there, it's just very heartwarming. simply because I knew that it would do us, as a couple, the world of good. I thought it was a once in a lifetime opportunity. You're only here for however long. You never know how long that's going to be. For us, it was a great opportunity to do something for ourselves for once, rather than get caught up completely in the rat race. I would say the trip probably changed the way we look at life and the way we Certainly I have anyway. The fact that I think I was pretty uptight before we came away, mm. I was stressed. I, I was probably an angry person. It's not a way to lead your life. And since I've come away, I'm back to the way I used to be when I was younger. And I think it does make you into a healthier, better, fitter person. It's a dream come true. Something that we never thought, both of us kept saying, these things don't happen to people like us still really can't believe how lucky we are to be doing what we're doing and we're making a lifetime full of memories now. If you're ever going to do anything like this I would just say you have the opportunity, do it. I just wish I'd started earlier. And I will say that you've learned to become more tidy. And I turn my socks around the right way for the washing. <laughs> You're proud of that word. <laughs>